it going everyone zabby here and today we're going to be heading to california just to do some fishing for fun we're on the main account again and the reason why we're going to california today is i want to get some sturgeon fishing in before they potentially patch this now i have heard from a good source that there is a chance they might be patching the california sturgeon which means the grind from 40 to 50 is about to get a lot harder so if if you want to get that grind over with make sure you go do that now because if they do patch this it's going to be way way harder to get to 50 so i i figured eh, might as well get some money get some xp go to california get a couple things done before they uh, potentially patch it and we're just going to talk about what that patch could mean and all that so i'm just bringing my four bottom rod setups as per usual we do got a couple extra setups here but i'm going to be mainly using these four heavy chasers so we're going to head to to california make sure to grab an advanced license and i'll see you guys there if you guys don't know the california sturgeon spot i will throw up a video i'll try to remember to put the card in the top right corner there and that will lead you to my beginner's guide video where it shows you the in-depth setup and everything if you want to try and catch sturgeon but you can also just follow along from this video and be all right so all you got to do is go to fishing the beaver i'm in a friends only room and we're just going to go to this spot right here you can see my markers back there and all we're going to do is go to nighttime quickly. So let's just go straight to 2100 hours. And the reason why you do nighttime is just because you can skip around at night. It's a lot easier. And it makes things a lot quicker here for catching sturgeon. But again, this isn't a guide video. So if you do want a more in-depth look into the rod setups and all that, be sure to go check out the actual guide video for this. But I just really wanted to talk about the fact that there could be potential nerfs coming to this. I don't want to give you guys the source. But if those nerfs do happen, uh, this is how I grinded from 40 to 50 basically is doing this and you make a lot of money and you make a lot of XP. And I ended up with almost like $2 million by the time I hit 50. And if they do nerf this, I really feel like they're going to have to buff a lot of other stuff here, guys. Because like not necessarily here, but in general, like Alaska is going to need a buff. Other places are going to need a buff because this is just really the... You, the most efficient way to level up at the higher levels to get to 50 is it's a very very uh very big grind for sure so i i think if they do end up nerfing this they're gonna want to buff a couple other things maybe even buff more stuff that's here like maybe make california more known for its bass and stuff like that and that would be fine too if they want to just nerf sturgeon because it's a little bit cheesy i completely understand that i i could see why they want to do that but they will have to buff a couple other things or else the grind's just going to be a little bit ridiculous. But let's make some quick money in XP here. And there's another reason why I'm here. Is I want to earn some quick money. Because there is potential that a new map could be coming out relatively soon. So get this farming in while you can. Now you will have some lulls here and there when you're doing this fishing. But basically what I do is whenever I don't get a sturgeon for a little bit. I just skip ahead uh, two hours. And then I just catch more. So if I sit here for more than like maybe a minute, minute and a half, and I don't get another bite, I'll just pick up all my rods and I will just uh, skip ahead time and go again. And you're always going to make more money here than you're going to spend in terms of the uh, extending the day. So I wouldn't even worry about that because you make about 2000 per fish, basically. So money here is really no option. But again, if you do want a more in-depth video, make sure to check out the guide video. That'll break it down a little bit better than I'm going to right here. We got another sturgeon on let's bring this bad boy in and they will be pretty hard fights especially if you don't have the heavy chasers uh they're even decently hard fights when you do have these uh higher level rods so it will be a little bit of a struggle to bring them in sometimes but for the most part you'll bring them in and it's well worth your time you can see we got a, another one on here or about to have another one on if they keep biting but you consistently get like four or five fish and then you got to skip ahead. All right, so I haven't gotten a bite for a couple minutes here. So all I'm going to do is reel in all my rods and then skip ahead. I'll show you guys what that looks like in case you've never seen it before or you don't want to go watch the other video. Now that we have all the rods picked up, all we're going to do is skip ahead. So you can see here we are at 2100 hours. So it automatically goes one hour ahead. So all you got to do is click one more time forward time. And then all you're going to do is cast back out and you should get... Uh, the fish should respawn and you should have a couple more bites and i think this is really why they're gonna if they do patch it this is why they're gonna end up doing it is because you can kind of cheese it just by skipping ahead at night uh but again they really would need to buff something else to make that 40 to 50 grind not so not so annoying because it, it really is a big grind and it gets even worse after 50 but 50 is really where i consider like i've reached the end game so i don't really mind the grind but up like if they if they do nerf this 
it's it, i think it's really gonna set people um set people the wrong way they're gonna be a little bit pissed off and i will make a rant video about that if they do end up nerfing this uh, hopefully they don't because it really is one of the the easiest ways to grind out those levels if not it's going to take hours and hours and hours and hours and it already does take a long time doing this i remember when i first did this 40 like i was like 44 to 50 i streamed the game like every day for a week and i literally only did carp and i was burnt i was burnt out by 50. so we skipped ahead and we got a bite after about 30 seconds or so we got another one on and that's basically all you're going to want to do is just rinse and repeat that you're going to level up decently fast now they're not amazing xp by any means but because of the fact that you can get them so consistently it really does make things a lot easier and then another thing you can kind of do is it's a little bit harder now than it was you can also hook it set it down and then grab the other one and you will lose it sometimes uh because of low tension but there is a chance that you can keep it on so i do that just out of habit because back when i did this on my main account uh, you could basically guarantee that the fish was going to stay on so it's a little bit tougher now but you might as well you don't have much to lose you eventually sometimes you're going to get a couple of fish at the same time and you're just going to speed things along a little bit but you can see here 362 xp and now we got another one on that was like two grand for that fish and you're just going to want to keep doing this until you fill up your keep net or at least get uh the, the evening done with and then just skip ahead to the next night and do it all over again but I really hope they uh, they don't patch this, guys. So get your sturgeon fishing in now if you can. I'm trying to give you guys fair warning that if they do patch this, it's going to be very, very hard to level. So get the grinding in now. We did not fill our keep net with sturgeon, but we did get 172 kilograms. So, I mean, it still is possible to do this here. And I'm sure there could be ones, there could be certain days where I could get 250 kilograms plus. But for now, this is all we're going to do. I'm going to go to the next day and we're going to probably fish something else. I don't know what yet, but I'm going to fish something else. Just uh, just for sanity's sake, sturgeon is pretty boring and I've done my fair share of grinding on sturgeon, so I don't need to do it anymore. But let's just go to we'll go to about six o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Let's see how much money we get. So it's 2,000 to extend and we did get 17K and that's without premium. So for very little effort, maybe... 15 minutes of fishing if i had premium i could have made 26k so again it's super easy but let's go do some other types of fishing here i'm over at the dam right now and we're just gonna go ahead and fish in this general area i, I don't have a particular spot i want to fish but i just kind of want to fish around and what i did is i just i left some spawn sack on two of the rods and then i also put large minnows on two of the other rods so that way we just have a little bit of different bait going on here maybe we'll catch a bunch of different stuff I don't really fish over here very often so it is something a little bit new for me so i'm just going to cast around find a couple spots that i really like and go from there we got a fish on let's see what we get out of here i'm hoping to get salmon maybe some striped bass i'm not sure if we can get striped bass over here again i really i don't really come here to fish anything else other than sturgeon at least back when i was leveling up my account but there we go we got a nice chinook salmon there already which is nice to see we got that on the spawn sack got another fish on Seems like a decent sized fish as well which is nice to see at least judging by the tension there must be another oh it is a bass i think is that a catfish no it's a steelhead okay all right we got a fish on here hopefully it's something decent again this is another spot i really don't fish that actually be a sturgeon i did cast out pretty far there is a chance that it could be a sturgeon but i feel like it'd be fighting a lot more if it was a sturgeon just seemed kind of heavy at first that's all yeah no it's a bass it's a bass there we go a nice striped bass got another fish on here this is our third rod so it's cast a little bit over towards that um that vegetation in the water over there and this spot's really good for striped bass though i have seen people catch carp here if they cast out um in the middle of the day in between that area there you can catch carp let's see what we got here is another bass yeah another bass so if you guys are looking for a striped bass spot this spot is not too shabby obviously you're going to want to bring lighter rods than i have because i'm not going to get great xp with these overkill rods i know it was a short video but i really just wanted to let you guys know that there is a possibility that sturgeon's going to be getting nerfed here so i wanted to talk about it in this episode of gone fishing with zabby so i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll catch you guys in the next one thanks for watching
Thanks for watching everyone. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button. Ring the bell so you don't miss a single video. Check out the description for links to my other social media platforms like Twitch, where I stream five days a week. Come hang out live. It's a lot of fun. Also, make sure to come type a comment. Tell me to catch more fish or whatever you guys want. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.